Lovely dinner at Ruby's, it was really, really nice. It's like literally opposite the hospital where we're having our child. Um, so yeah, I just got like a wee small thing. I wasn't really, really, really hungry for a big massive meal and I'm trying to kind of be good too, as well. Um, the curry chip was nice, so yeah, I love that. Would definitely recommend going in there, I think for Connor's next birthday when that child's three months old or like six weeks older. I, I, I think it'll be more than that because the girl did say that my original date I thought uh, was going to be due on were right at like the 12th to 15th March. She said like my measurement's coming up the 12th so he could come earlier and he could even come earlier than that because I'm quite tiny and she even said that to you but I'm like do you know what I don't mind if he comes earlier I think that's better sometimes not too early but because obviously if you do get too big you do get really uncomfortable and everything so yeah like 47 weeks or like between that point 47 to 40 weeks is fine Connor still driving away um got back around over an hour well probably an hour and a half an hour back at the house and it's like seven o'clock i would say alexa what time is it it's 6 56 p.m pretty much near enough seven o'clock um i will will have had well did if it make any sense at all and it would be amazing i did put the scan pictures before this next clip the one you're seeing now it's much easier than having me holding them to hold the scan picture so you won't see the information at the top of them and explain them. Um, it's much easier for me to just put them in as pictures before this and instead of like holding them to show them that way. But we've got like 10 pictures which is crazy. Like We've got one of Lil Nugget's feet, his wee legs. No, I think he has my legs but Connor's feet. And one of them looked like he was doing crunches, like sit-ups. It was so funny. It was like, I want to get a six-pack when I get out of here, pretty much. Um, his legs are quite long, like mine. And I have decently long arms my height, so it could be Connor's arms or mine. I don't know. Um, seeing his wee ears and everything, his feet are so cute. They're so cute, like big wee feet. They're so, so, so cute. There's a picture of his wee feet as well and we did ask the sonographer just to confirm the gender and she said yep definitely a boy so there was no mistake from that and I'm actually glad that he's a boy and it wasn't like a mistaken gender because um, I imagine I got told it was a boy and then got told it was a girl or vice versa and then say for instance people bought me stuff I bought myself a wee thing for the baby and i couldn't use it because it's the wrong color um like a heartbeat bird would be like but like well i suppose 
if it was a girl and that heartbeat wears a blue colour, like I suppose, doesn't really matter too much, but it's better that it was the right gender. <laughs> So the heartbeat burn all sitting there for the knockout when he comes into this world, like obviously is born. And yeah, he kept on moving around. He was so, so hyper like he was the first scan. Like he's a bit more sleepier at 16 weeks, but he was moving around quite a bit. But the uh, 20 week one, which was today, he was hyper as anything. And I'm like, yeah, he's like his mom, his mom. <clears throat> That's very English. He's like his ma, but I'll go say ma and mum at the same time. Ma'am. <laughs> oh my goodness. I make fun of myself all the time. He's like his ma. And he's also like his big brother, Horton, who is learned. And see a mess in my room. Don't judge me. I need to throw it out. And... I need to clean this house, but it isn't too bad, but just needs a bit of a clear out. And I'll be doing that in the next couple of weeks or next week. Get my clothes all sorted out, because one thing I do, yep, I'm going off on a tangent already. Um, I kind of sort out my summer stuff and winter stuff, so I put winter stuff, the majority of it, in vacuum bags in the closet, and then bring it summer stuff and some round so obviously a lot of like my jeans it's not gonna really fit me like because i am pregnant i'm gonna order more maternity jeans not loads because a lot of the leggings are still fitting and i did buy some maternity like a pair of maternity jeans and a pair of leggings but i'm gonna get more from shane or timu because i find the ones from shane were really really good and i think that's an airplane going past as i'm trying to film but yeah just i think a lot of my jumpers will still fit because obviously some of them are like oversized and will fit a bump and obviously i got a few maternity jumpers as well in chain and yeah what else i think just took my clothes out now i think i'll have a load of them <laughs> in them vacuum bags and I'm praying to go up by next summer. I'm able to fit into my pre pregnancy clothes. I will do because I'm going to keep myself fit and healthy and not eat like a pig. And I haven't been eating like a pig to be fair. <laughs> um, but yeah. So pray for my birthday that I snap back in this year. And. Even though it's not the most important thing I'm talking about here, but I'm just going on a tangent because that's what I do. Um, and I think ahead a lot of the time. <laughs> like I was talking to someone and said, oh, imagine if I had grandkids. And they're like, you think ahead so much now. Like, I do. But, yeah, I am just going to, I don't know where to end the vlog now. Because I might, I don't know. I'm like, I think I might keep it open. So I will. Um, so for later on, I couldn't show anything that happens tonight, but Connor's away to work and Horton and Mir's chilling up in the room. I'm going to just go on my laptop a bit and do wee things like that for the round. Give him a dinner. He should have got dinner in order. Bad mum there. <laughs> Let the mum shaming commence literally but we got up late anyway because i was literally see last night i was exhausted i was like yep i'm going to bed right now conked out I woke up at like 11 half 11 hello bad but i'm pregnant so i deserve a wee lie in there and again anyway especially because i won't be getting that many when this child comes even though i have a routine put in place for me and connor's put the night shifts up but still, enjoy them lying so far I can. <laughs> well, hopefully, like, the child will be in a routine and all. Once I get the first few or several months, few to several months over me, then hopefully I'll be in a routine. So, yeah. And 
Um, what else? I think just I'll see you when I see you when that where I can't like speak. I'll see you whether that's the end of this vlog or to show something interesting, which probably won't be that interesting because I'm quite bored at evenings. I just literally watch YouTube or listen to that. So, yeah. See you when I see you. Okay, so it's after 10. I'm in the middle of doing some youtube things. Horton is mucking around my flash on. No. Horton's mucking around with his toy. It's only Horton's eye. Say hi. Lerner is playing his games. And if you wonder why I call my husband Lerner, that's his nickname. What game are you playing now? Playing Ball at University. Okay. And Horton just stopped playing. He's like, wonder what mommy's doing. What's mommy doing? Show on YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to crack on with that. Hi guys, so I've got to end the wee 20 week scan vlog. It's literally Saturday now, Saturday night. So um, I'm at the caravan now. Um, so yeah, it was a really good wee day. It's actually kind of like a wee just random mix match of a day. Um, just lovely seeing the baby on the screen and everything. I absolutely loved it. But we weren't here. You want to say hi? You just want to like grass. <coughs> Say hi, say hi. You could tell I'm a bit tired because I've been like, I had a nap there about half an hour ago. Literally laid on to watch a YouTube or some videos and I literally conked out for like two hours. Yeah, that was me. And yeah, apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this wee vlog and I'll see you again for the next one. Stay gorgeous, God bless, bye.